So there's this clip doing the rounds on social media at the moment, which exhibits one of the more persistent objections to climate action. So today I thought we'd watch it and then unpack some of the science behind it. Let's get stuck in. What percent of our atmosphere is CO2, carbon dioxide? About 5%. Five. I'll just follow you then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go seven. That's my favorite number. I'll see their five and um, suggest that we know that transportation causes 49% of CO2. So that's why we're all working on okay. energy transition. All right. So what number do you think it is? Eh, five. Well, I, I appreciate that, and I don't mean to I put you on ice. I ask a lot of people that because all we hear is climate change, climate change, CO2. The answer is 0.04%, and it's gone up from 0.03 over the last couple of decades. This is what we're being all contorted into doing is this tiny change in CO2. If we, go, if we get below 0.02, plant life starts dying off. So... Um, okay, so that's more or less the argument. If you want to see the original clip, I'll put a link in the description. They go on to talk about various policy rather than the science. But that, that is essentially the argument. CO2 in the atmosphere is 0.04% of the atmosphere. That is true. And the argument basically is that, you know, that's such a small percentage. Basically, why are we worried about that? What is this? A CO2 concentration. For now, there are a couple of big problems with the argument that because it's a small concentration, it can't be important. So the first major objection is all greenhouse gases on the planet collectively come to less than a percent of the atmosphere. And yet without those greenhouse gases, physics dictates that the planet would be completely frozen. Right? There's not a scientist on the planet who would dispute the fact that without greenhouse gases, the planet would be frozen. So the entire greenhouse effect is dependent on a tiny percentage of the atmosphere, which automatically tells you that, that tiny percentage of the atmosphere is actually very important indeed. And actually, if you look at science in general, right, tiny quantities of things have big impacts all the time. If your blood was 0.04% cyanide, you'd have some pretty significant problems. I don't feel so good. So just because something is small doesn't mean it can't have a big impact. And actually, this fellow, I think his name is, yeah, Doug LaMalfa, he must know this because within the internal logic of his argument, he goes on to say, If we get below 0.02, plant life starts dying off. No, th that is not entirely true. It's false. But by his own admission, small changes have massive impacts, in this case on life. So he knows that it has a big impact. He just disputes that it has a big impact on climate. And in fact, we know that it does apply to climate because we can measure it. This is something which is often flies under the radar in these discussions, but we can measure that CO2 is currently warming the planet's surface. And so a better way of thinking about this is not that we've increased the concentration of the atmosphere, the CO2 concentration of the atmosphere by 0.02%, or technically it's 0.012%. We've gone up from about 280 parts per million to 420 parts per million. So yes, that, that, that represents like a tiny fraction of the atmosphere, but it represents a 50% increase in CO2, which is very significant. Remember, without it, the planet would be frozen, and we've increased it 50% since the pre-industrial era, which we know has caused this rapid temperature increase, taking global temperatures to their highest point in at least 100,000 years. Basically, this argument just falls down at the slightest scrutiny. The fact that something is small doesn't mean it has a small effect. Doug admits that with regards to life on Earth, for some reason, he thinks it's different for the climate. So that's the video. This is a shorter one than normal, but I thought it was worth addressing. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate it. And until next time, goodbye.